What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the newly released headliner for Fana to review and it's a player that literally looks incredible. Like look at the card, I'm blown away. 85 pace with 87 dribbling, with 82 shooting, with 85 defending, with 86 passing and 89 physicals as well. What can't this card do? He's also a six foot one player, so he's not a small centimeter or even CDM. He's on top of that, got high, high work rate, which is incredible. He's got three star skill moves and four star weak foot. Obviously, we would have liked a four star, four star for Fana, but hey, listen, we can't complain with this card because he looks amazing. I also picked him up for max price. He's extinct at this current moment. 1.1 million coins is what I picked him up for. Now, if we are comparing the stats on the card to his player of the month card, we are looking actually at a really nice upgrade. We're looking at a plus two to pace, a plus two to dribbling, a plus three to shooting, a plus two to defending, a plus three to the passing, and a plus three to the physicals as well. Now, the chem style I've decided to go for is a shadow chem style. Even though he's at a plus two to, two to the pace, you still need to give this guy the shadow chem style. So you're giving him as much pace in that midfield as possible. So shadow chem style giving this guy 93 acceleration with 96 sprint speed is top tier. Now, the thing about Fofana, right? He wasn't just known for a defensive beast. You know, he wasn't just known for putting in those tackles, those interceptions, using his strength to completely bully players out of the way. He was also known for his shooting ability, his passing ability, and a nice dribbling ability for a six foot one player. So yeah, the shooting ability is looking amazing. Genuinely amazing. 90 long shots with 89 shot power. And then on top of that, he's got 79 finishing with 89 attacking positioning. So you're telling me if Afana obviously gets inside the box, he actually has a really good opportunity to actually score the goal because of how good he's finishing and how good his shot power actually is. And also... You best believe we're going to be giving those long shots a go. 90 long shots? Come on, they need to fly in today. Now, the passing ability, we have to keep in mind, he has also got a four-star weak foot on top of these passing stats. So he has got 88 vision, 96 short passing with 88 long passing. I'm expecting him to obviously switch the ball with both feet. Now, his dribbling ability, on the play of the month card, he felt nice on the ball. Nothing incredible, just straight up felt nice. And the fact that they have got gone ahead and gave him a plus two to every single dribbling stat is always going to be top tier. He's got 83 agility, 77 balance, 89 reactions, 89 ball control, 87 dribbling with the 87 composure as well. And these defensive stats, I don't really need to read them out. You can clearly see that he is going to be god tier at putting in the tackles. And the physicals as well, 90 stamina with high, high work rates perfect. He's got 91 strength as well with 86 aggression. They actually went ahead and gave him plus three to stamina, plus three to strength, and plus three to aggression. I, I had no issue with this guy's player of the month card with the strength and aggression. I thought he was bullying players everywhere, but hey, if you want to go ahead and make it better, I will happily, happily be for that. Now, the links. The new Klaus card. That's all I have to say, right? The new Klaus card that literally just came out as an SBC yesterday gets a strong link with your boy Fofana. On top of that, He's a league good player, so you can link him up with players like Kempembe, Neymar, and Kylian Mbappe. So yeah, the links are top tier as well. Now, where am I going to be playing for Fana? Two positions, the centre mid and CDM position in a 4-2-3-1 and a 4-4-2 formation. So let's get into the games. I'm going to slightly push towards there. There you go, man. Reading the lane perfectly. And did you notice how perfect of an interception it actually was? It literally stuck straight onto his feet. And that was also... A very good pass. And I thought Lloris was going to catch that. Oh, go for it. Go on. We we needed to hit it. You need to hit those. He hasn't got the greatest of jumping, but he is a six foot one player. And with the player I'm looking at towards the near post, we might as well see if he can actually go ahead and win the header. And uh, yeah, as you clearly can see, he didn't win it over that small player. I'm going to push towards him, making sure he doesn't get that pass off easy. And once again, for Fana having like a possession based interception, let me see if I can actually score off this with the new ZH card. Now nah, we end up getting tackled. Kind of want to push slowly towards him, but he's doing those cheeky one-twos and I don't know really where to go, but we do read him well. Going for a nice tackle. And once again, we're going to go for the pass. It's literally wide open. And with his kind of passing ability, he ain't going to screw up a pass like that. Shield him off. Good little turns. Oh, under pressure as well. You see those little touches? That was perfect. I did not expect that from him. I'm going to just chase him down here, see how fast Fofana actually is, especially against someone like Savanir as well. And his pace, you can clearly see, is not going to be an issue in that midfield. I'm just going to pass this back. Go for a ball roll there. Nice turn. Really nice turn. That's a finesse shot. 
That's a long shot and it's going to fly in. We end up green timing it, but the thing is, right, for Farnar with the 90 long shots, you're expecting that to go in with him. Can we chase this guy down? No, nah, it auto switches us to Neymar. Fafana's movement going forward is something I've always enjoyed as well, especially with the height attacking work rate. Like, he's not a CDM that likes to sit back. Like, right here, you can clearly see he's trying to make that movement going forward, you know? Play it down quickly before Makaleli ends up losing the ball. Great acceleration through the space. I see you, Ziyech. That's a good pass. Turn. Chip the keeper. Imagine. Please go in. What is that save? Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Honestly, I don't. How has he saved that? Going back towards goal onto the crossbar. I might just have to slide tackle this guy. This guy's just running with Daka, I believe it is. It is. Slide tackle? There you go. Perfect from Fafana. I might put on a press here. See how close I can get over to Gravenberch. And Fafana gets out to him ridiculously quick. Look at the acceleration as well. Go on, Fafana. Keep it going. I tried to shoot with his stronger foot there. And for some odd reason, he went into like a weaker foot animation. I might just play that up for fun and making that run, man. I love that high attacking work rate. The fact that he can give me those passing options going forward is always going to be nice. And I tried to go for the chip again. And we end up hitting a crossbar this time. Let's cover that middle. I know he wants it now. We didn't cover it well. But once again, we're just going to use Fafana's pace to catch up to someone like Daka. I understand Daka wasn't like full on sprinting. But did you see how fast he came over? We'll roll that. Can I give that turn Mbappe? I can. And look at Fofana. Oh, we're hitting this first time. Oh, yeah. We're hitting this first time. We have to hit that first time. I did see him slightly bring out a keeper. So as soon as I saw that, I knew he was going to try to fully commit. Go for a few turns. You see these like tight turns like, right here? I'm telling you guys right now, he's playing a month. Can't do that. Like, he can't. He, he, like, those little tight, quick touches, keeping the ball very close to his feet. I didn't see, I didn't see too much from that. From the player of the month. I felt like it, it felt a bit more stiff, let's say. The fact that this headliner can do it like that, though, that is really surprising. Can I play that across? Yeah, I can, man. Fafana's made that movement going forward as well. I'm just going to use his pace. This guy's not really coming towards me. I get in front of Gravenberch with pretty much ease. We're going to go for the long shot. Maybe I'm being a bit too ambitious right here, right? But you need to test out. You need to see if it flies into the back of the net. Get towards him. He's going to want to go for that turn. There you go, man. Fafana straight out to him. Can I... Get that? Oh, he's offside. Oh, okay. I was so confused for a second. I might just play that up. There you go, man. I see Fofana once again making movement. Let's see if we can swing that all the way down. That's a good pass. That is a very good pass. Anyone going to give me a passing option now? For a second, I thought Neymar was going to allow that to go out of play. Is Fofana inside the box? He is. Hold up a second. A few twists and turns. Issue is, he hasn't got the skill moves right, so I can't really pull out anything special, but we can go for a roulette here. We can go for a green time shot, and we end up here in a crossbar. I might push towards him because I reckon he's going to maybe, yeah, there you go, try to go for that pass. And we intercept it literally perfectly. I might keep it simple. Actually, I tried to go for the pass. Go on, Edward. Use that pace. I mean, that's a great pass. That's a great... Can I get that? Can I get a shot? No, man. I was trying to focus up, so I literally had no idea what I was even saying. That's a good cutback, but we read that like an absolute book. I knew he wanted that pass to CR7. And look at Fofana instantly wanting to break away. Let's give him the ball back. Why not? Keep it going. Neymar, that's a nice run. That's a beautiful, beautiful run. We hit it first time. I thought like a five-star week for and everything. I thought, you know, let's see if uh, we can score an absolute bang of a goal for the review, but clearly not. Keep it going, man. Mbappe, that's a decent run. I'm going to give it a go. No, man. I wanted to see if he could actually play a ball like that. If he played that ball and he literally landed on Mbappe, we got ourselves a guaranteed goal. He has to go for a cutback. There you go, man. That's a good interception. A few turns there as well. Accelerate through the space. Use that strength to hold off that player as well. Keep it going. I see you, Neymar. I see you. That's an amazing run from Neymar. We're not going to hit this first time like we did last time because it did not end well. Can we get the goal, though? Nah, Mbappe didn't really go for that cutback. Royal scoop. I'm just going to go for the cut back there. There you go. Give it over to Fofana. I mean, this guy's not really covering the long shot. I'm trying to create an angle for it, though. Double ball roll. Go straight through the gap, maybe. Nah, I'm way, doing way too much. Okay, hold up. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Oh, it was a decent shot as well. It's just a little Reese. I had to like it wasn't even a shot. Get onto him. Nah, don't allow him. I was about to say, do not allow Phil Foden to get round you, Fofana. Really good tackle, though. Surely you want to try to turn again. There you go. And that's exactly when we go ahead and put in the tackle. I love like the possession-based tackles from Fofana. And the thing is as well, he's not like inconsistent with it. No, he does a lot of possession-based tackles. And can we get a goal here? 
Go on, ZH. Give it a go. Nah, we can't. Hold up. Fafana, though. Give Fafana a go. Hmm. Turn out here. There you go, Makalele. What a turn that was. Keep it going. This guy's on an all-out press pretty much. And I'm trying to get another goal for Fana. There you go. Smack it. Trust in that four-star weak foot. And it's not like an amazing shot, but it wasn't a bad shot either. I kind of feel like I have to calm down with those ones because he's only got like 75 finishing. He's not going to be like a clinical finisher inside that box. He's going to try turn, isn't he? Yeah, there you go, man. You see how Fafana as well was on the other side of him and he still managed to get that ball. I'm just going to push out here. That is a very bad touch and I need to take advantage of that. And Fafana got out to the guy insanely quick, but I thought Zeech was going to be wide open there, man. But we end up getting the ball back. I might slide tackle this. I have to slide tackle this and he does do well to actually reach out to it. And we're not going to, yeah, I was about to say, we are not going to allow that to happen the second time. I'm second man pressing this, making sure he doesn't get out this corner. But he's actually done quite well. But we're still on him, man. We're still on him. It doesn't matter which way this guy turns. And that's something I'm really enjoying. The fact that Fafana can literally be on either side. If this guy turns backwards, we use his pace. We use his transition to get over there really quickly. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing five games with Fafana. We actually scored two goals. Both of the goals coming off long shots, which definitely was expected. Coming from a player that's got 90 long shots and 89 shot power to his game. Now, going into this review, I didn't feel like this card was going to be in insanely different to like the play of the month right i know it's like plus two plus three upgrades it's just knowing how much of a beast the play of the month was i was like surely he can't get so much better you know it's just this card is so much better the way this card was, card was feeling on the ball i don't think we can compare it to the play of the month the play of the month felt nice on the ball it didn't feel incredible but this card felt levels above the play of the month on the ball and then on top of that the transition speed felt so much smoother on this card. Well, on top of that, the way this guy, this guy was getting out the players was better than that player of the month. And then the aggression as well was something I definitely, definitely did notice. That plus three aggression, you can definitely see it came into play when he was going in for tackles, when he was trying to fight for the ball back. Like he was super, super aggressive, aggressive when going in for the tackles. He wasn't just aiming for the ball. He was also aiming for the player, making sure that player gets pushed onto the ground, making sure they do not come out of like a rebound let's say and he 100% comes out with the ball like I genuinely can't believe how good of a card this this actually is now he is obviously going for 1.1 million coins okay 1.1 million coins is a lot a lot for a midfielder but I'm gonna be honest for the best non-icon CDM in the entire game I would pay 1.1 mil for this card. I would. Saying that it's a headliner as well, we have to keep that in mind. It's a headliner. He can also go ahead and get future upgrades. This card is the best non-icon CDM in the entire game. He's better than Gwen Doozy. He's better than So, let's say. He's better than uh, Winter Wild card uh, Pogba. He's better than that Zacharia card that literally just came out as well. I can't think of any CDM that is better than this Fafana card. I genuinely, genuinely can't. He is the, the best non-icon CDM in the entire game. So yes, 1.1 million coins saying that it's a headliner as well, saying they can get further upgrades. I do believe it's worth it, even though that is literally his max. He can't go any higher because he's currently extinct. Now, do I believe he is an S-tier midfielder? Is that even a question? Like, do, do I really have to answer this? 100% he's an S-tier midfielder. I literally just said he's the best non-icon CDM in the entire game. I am blown away with how good this card actually is. But yeah, I hope you guys obviously did enjoy the review. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.